and we're back how you doing everybody uh thanks for coming back to the channel uh doing some uh woods hunting today this is uh an area where there was once uh a 1700s structure standing a homestead i guess you could say and we found we found a lot of stuff out of this place coins relics a couple of large cents a half cent uh, everything from a thimble to a shoe buckle frame to a sash buckle. Just it's, this place has kind of given us everything. So, um, you know, kind of without showing you exactly where we are, uh, I'm going to try to show you a little bit of the foundation over here. See uh, a lot of the foundation there still still standing. Uh, I think there's a, there's a cellar hole kind of over here in this area. So we can get most of our stuff around here, which would be the side yard, I would think, and then on the other side of where the house was. So um, you know, hopefully. We'll uh, come back soon and show you something cool. I'll meet my buddy Carl here today, uh, my digging buddy. So hopefully you'll get a chance to meet him shortly. All right, see you soon. Well, certainly not what I'm looking for, but it's something and it's big. Looks like somebody made a home. Hmm, not quite sure what it is, but it's big and it's heavy, I'll tell you that. All right, see you in a bit. All right, I have a buckle, it's obvious, but it's kind of cool how I found it. And you, some of you might think I planned this or planted it. Uh, I did not. Here it is. You see it? Right here? At first I actually thought it was a pull tab. But this looks to be a buckle with some, ooh. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean that up and check that out. Oh, I'm gonna keep plugging away. Where's Carl? Carl's out there somewhere. Carl, where you at? Oh, there he is. You see him? Are you there? All right. Catch you later. Well, buckle came out of here. I swung over here and I got myself a big piece of iron. Uh, I don't know. Seems like a big old steak or something. I got a steak. Carl, you want it? You want it? A steak. <laughs> Forget it. Here's my buddy. He's getting some exercise right now. <laughs> Say hi, Carl. Hi, Dan. <laughs> well, I got a pretty good signal here and I thought it was a hunk of junk when I got out of the hole when I brushed it off and as as Carl pointed out it is a headless soldier I was kind of looking at it like this if you turn it a different way it's kind of hard to see what it is but until you actually turn it the right way it's kind of cool there's a rifle he does have a rifle and a backpack. a backpack. I've never seen anything like it. He's missing his head, so maybe we can pick some more. His head might still be in the hole. All right, I'll check. Okay, we're back to a live dig with Dan. Oh. They can't find it, Captain. Oh, wait. What is that?
It's gold, Carl. No, it's not. Ooh, what is that? Your machine's talking to you, Carl. Yeah, I know. Say, Daddy, come, come back. I miss you. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a lid. It's a kind of a fancy lid to something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, like three holes ago, I dug that first buckle. Uh, looks like I have another one. It was like a slamming like 60 signal, 61, 60. Pretty uh, consistent. So it's right down here. See it? Nice little buckle. I'll take a buckle. Little D buckle. Not bad. How you doing, Car? Yes. How you doing? All right, All right see ya. You all right? You good? Carl's over there hacking away at something. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to mention at the beginning, it's January 31st, 2020. Uh, this is probably what? Is this the second time we've been together, Carl? Out this year? Third? This year? This year. Wow. Second time. Uh, got another target. Nice signal. Uh, pretty crisp. And it's right here. Let's see what it is together. I don't even think I need the pinpointer. I think this is it, but it doesn't, I don't know what this resembles or. Hold on one sec, let me put my glasses on. I'll be right back. All right, we're back with my glasses so I can actually see, ooh, it's heavy. It's got cool design. It's like, it's almost like marble. Oh, I guess, you know what? Is that a, that's a doorknob, it looks like. But it's actually really cool. If you can see the veins in there. Try to get to focus. That is awesome. That's gonna look cool cleaned up. Awesome. All right. Uh, Carl says he's got something over here. Let's go check it out. What do you got? I have a pick. Sweet. It's a pickaxe. Dude, that thing is awesome. You gonna refurb that maybe? That would yeah. be that would that would look so cool if it was refurbished. Yeah. Cleaned up and polished Tough up. Tough to say truly how old it is, but you know this place is from the 1700s, so mm. Depending, I yeah, mean, I'm not sure like the styles of picks and no, stuff. No, like I don't like, know, but I can tell you that that is sharp. It is sharp, you're that right. That is seriously, it is, it is sharp in more than one way. <laughs> Here, check this out. Oh, wow, what's a... dude, look how heavy that is. It's a, I think it's a doorknob. It is. Look at the marbleization, the veins in it. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. It's amazing, it's still together. I wonder, it's almost like it's glass. Yeah. It's like a glass, some sort of glass doorknob. It's it looks like a though. doorknob yeah. because there it is. Is that the metal you picked up? Is that how I don't know. you just found it in the hole? No, I, I, that was my target. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. It's cool. Sweet. Now you want to carry the pick out for me? No. <laughs> That's all right. That's going to be a little big to carry around in my pouch. Yeah, uh, we might want to lay it down to the ground where we walk out. Yeah. All right. Get Good right job, Carl. <laughs> All right, we got like a 95 to 99 signal. We'll do a little. Yeah. 
Like, look how dry this is. Do a little live dig. That's it right there. It just fell out. It's my what? side of the hole. It's a square. I think it's a square piece of iron. Perfect. You know what it is? It's one of those washer plates off the building. Oh boy. <laughs> there's, look, window glass. Oh boy. And there's a ton of it. All right, nice job, Carl. Go, pottery. Pottery, hey, pottery. Is it nice pottery or just plain? Is it fancy? No, not really, it's, oh. it's some sort of curved. All right, I'm gonna go dig. Okay. All right, bye. I just want to mention I've been uh, swinging the Simplex Plus by Noak de Macro. Um, so far, I really like it. I uh, kind of bought it as a little backup to my uh, Garrett AT Max, and uh, I've been having fun with it. So, and it's finding me some pretty cool relics and some coins. And I just looks like found my first coin of the day. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weedy. It is a weedy. So. Abe's a little crusty. But, uh. A coin goes in the box. I like it. I just dug this piece of iron. But Carl's calling me over. Um. Because he has something cool. Let's see what he's got. I have a pocket watch. He definitely has a gear. See the gear? Uh, hmm. Has a gear in it. There's the gear. This is on a roller. That's pretty cool, man. And it looks like it's shiny. It's shiny. Give away right here that this is a pocket watch ring. Yeah, for sure. Huh. That's awesome, dude. That's pretty cool. Do you want to trade? I'll trade you my piece of iron for it. It's right there. <laughs> you want that? I, uh, yeah. All right. I still have to. I'll take some time. And you might want to use some uh, water There's, on that. Um, Here. See at the top? Don't brush it the anymore. root grooves. Don't brush it. All right. You play with that, all right? Yep. All right. Hey, everyone just got home. Uh, just wanted to do a quick wrap up. Uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, Carl and I had a good time. Two hours. Can't beat it. We're at a place we've been to a dozen times and it keeps uh keeps giving up some some cool stuff so we're still finding lots of targets to dig which is a great sign so uh i'm sure we'll head back there again but this weekend we have some new permissions that we're gonna hit uh so hopefully they will uh produce all right as the car pulls in behind me hi neighbor um but yeah, so um, I'll see you when I see you. Later.